What's up, YouTube? It's finally warmed up. Time to do a few more of these backyard conversations. If you guys remember, we started doing these a while back last summer when we just kicked up the channel. And you guys seem to like this type of content. So I'm gonna answer a question for you guys today that I get on a regular basis. And that is, should I join the military? I get a ton of dudes and females reaching out to me on a regular basis asking, should I join the military at this day and age? Uh, a lot of young people, you know, their, their parents don't support their decisions because of the, the political environment here in the United States right now. And um, a lot of young people are confused about what it actually means to serve their country right now and, and is joining the military the the best way to serve our country right now and they don't know what to do and i totally get that and we're going to talk about that on this episode i'll start with talking about some benefits of joining the military that we should all consider this episode is brought to you by our partners at Barbell Apparel. Barbell is the one-stop shop for all of your apparel needs. Everything that they put out is absolutely top quality. Everything from the most comfortable jeans that you could ever imagine putting on. These things move with you. They stretch. They're durable. When you're out working on your Land Cruiser, if you're cool like me, you can throw on your barbell jeans. They're going to have you covered. Uh, to your fitness apparel, your Ranger shorts, your tech tees, uh, stuff that's going to keep you cool, that's going to keep you moving faster, further, longer when you're out doing whatever it is that you do. Barbell Apparel, thank you so much for making the best apparel on the market today. Uh, thank you for being an awesome company with good values and uh, for covering down on everything that we need here at 307 Project to do what we do. Go check them out at barbellapparel.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Enough said. So the, per the first big benefit to me, uh, I, I look at as a young person joining the military, it's uh, just reflecting on my own you know, story and my own experience as a young man in the Navy. It's a really, really good place to go and make the mistakes that you're going to make as a young person. Because the reality of life is you're going to make mistakes as a young man or woman, uh, whether you're in the military or not. And the reason that it's a good place, the military is a good place to go and, and make those mistakes that you're going to make as a young person is because you are going to be held accountable for those mistakes, all right? So you, you don't get to just let things slide. Uh, you're forced into an environment where when you make those mistakes that you're gonna make regardless, just by nature of you're young and inexperienced and you don't know what the crap you're doing, uh, you're forced into an environment where you're gonna be held accountable and that accountability allows you to learn deep lessons from the mistakes that you do make. Whereas, you know, if you just stay out here in this, you know, civilian life, uh, you're gonna be able to get by with doing a lot of stupid crap. And you just, you're gonna be able to get by and just kinda let it slide, right? Um, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. And it's really good as a young person to learn from the mistakes that you're making. So I think that's a huge benefit of being in that military environment, especially or, uh, as a young man or woman. I know it was for me personally. The second benefit of joining the military, if you're asking yourself the question, should I join or not? A big one is you're going to learn valuable skills, all right? Uh, depending on what you decide to do in the military, I can only speak for myself, being in special operations, uh, I learned valuable skills. I learned how to shoot, move, communicate. I learned how to work with a team. Uh, I learned leadership skills. 
I learned chain of command. I learned all of these things. So not just the hard skills that you're going to learn within your, your given job or your MOS, you're actually going to learn a hard skill. Uh, and that's, that's a valuable thing. Hard skills are valuable things, but you're going to learn a lot of skills, just life skills and um, being integrated with people from from different backgrounds, different cultures, uh, different areas, and you've got to figure out how to make things work uh, as a team with these people in order to accomplish the mission. So I think the skills that you gain as a young person in the military are are good to go. And uh, the training that you're going to receive is going to be top notch, even, even in the in the current uh, political environment that we have here in the United States, the guys that are the guys and girls that are putting the training on, um, for me personally in special operations, uh, the training was was probably the well no probably was the 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 most valuable part of my career because all the training that I received was uh, training and instruction was top notch. So number three, and the last benefit that we're going to go over from being in the military is just the, um, the financial aspect of, of joining as a young person. Obviously, uh, you're going to start out making uh, pretty decent money once you get through you know, your, your A school or whatever training pipeline you have to go through and uh, you're out actually serving, doing a job, you're, you're going to make pretty decent money. You're going to make a good, a good living, uh, enough to have the things that you and possibly your family needs to, to uh, yeah, live a decent day-to-day -day life. And then you have to consider the fact um, of uh, the GI Bill. I'm sure they're still offering that. That's a pretty good uh, plus. That's a big benefit. And then, of course, if you retire from the military, um, you you get to reap, you know, some pretty significant benefits in terms of uh, health care and uh, and just your retirement pay and um, all kinds of other little kind of perks that come along with with serving in the military that are pretty unique and pretty special. So. I mean, that is something that you should take into consideration uh, and view as a benefit and a, a distinct advantage that you're going to get in life for your time and service. So now we're going to talk about some of the negatives of choosing to join the military as a young person. Um, huge negative is the physical and mental strain that it puts on your body. Uh, especially if you're going to go into special operations. Uh, the, the military is going to take things from you that you can never get back. Um, physically, it's going to probably destroy some of your joints. Uh, you're probably going to lose most of your hearing. Uh, you're, you're probably going to have a laundry list of injuries that you're 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 not going to be a hundred percent ever again uh, after it after you know it, it could be it that could happen in a very short span of time but definitely if you're going to serve for a decade or more it's going to take a lot from you physically that you're never going to be able to get back you're going to have to deal with that for the rest of your life and and that's part of the sacrifice that you make uh, as a as a military member and then the mental strain is extremely significant too. I don't care who you are. If you go and do a, especially if you serve within a combat MOS or in special operations, it's going to change your perception or your perspective of the world. It's going to change the way you think. It's going to change the way you see things. Uh, it's going to change and affect your mind as a human being. And some of those changes are good, but a lot of the changes that are going to happen to you are not good, and they're not going to serve you, and they're not going to make your life 
very easy once you leave that organization. The second negative is the strain that military service puts on your family. Um, you know, it's, it's very, very rare, especially in special operations, to see a married couple stay married uh, throughout a, you know, a, a decade plus long military career. It puts significant strain on your relationship with your spouse. Um, a, lot, a lot of times guys' relationships with their children was pretty much non-existent and with their spouse. Um, and then your loved ones back home, your, your, your brothers, your sisters, your, your, your mom, your dad, all the people that, that you love, you know, those relationships become pretty much non-existent because you are so busy doing what it is you have to do um, to accomplish the mission, to stay alive uh, while you're in the military. So it just puts a tremendous strain on every relationship that, that you have uh, the whole time that you're in there just by nature of that line of work really really tough so consider that the last negative that we're going to talk about and then we're going to move into talking about the the kind of um the the thought process in this specific political environment but the last negative i'm going to share with you guys is just the time that you lose and you know you you can make an argument both ways on this because you while you're in the military you are going to learn a lot you are going to grow up. You're, you're going to be held accountable. You're going to have a lot of good things are, are happening, right? But believe it or not, I, I think a lot of people are confused about how much of what they learn in the military is going to, how much of that stuff is going to serve them well and translate into, um, into benefit once they leave the organization. And the answer is maybe about half of what you learn in the military at most is going to serve you well once you get out of that organization. Once you get out of the military, you're going to have to learn. You're, you're basically going to have to start from scratch. You, you, you lose a lot of time in there. And when you get out, you're, you're, you're going to have to build something from the ground up. Um, that that you're gonna what is it you're gonna do with the rest of your life you got to build that from the ground up right you got to rebuild relationships from the ground up you got to rebuild community from the ground up because all the old team stuff and all that crap that that you you know you 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 thought you were a part of or you were a part of while you were in the military you leave that organization man and all that all that stuff leaves you behind the military is a, a massive moving machine and it doesn't stop. It doesn't remember you. It, it, it just keeps going. Um, so you lose a lot of time. You get out and you find yourself in a situation where you're like, man, I'm, you know, I'm 35 years old. Some of you guys, if you, if you retire, you're going to get out. You're going to be 40 uh, plus years old. And you're like, I got to start from freaking scratch and figure out how to, how to now make my way in this world out here. So you do lose a lot of time, and I would chalk that up as a negative. And so the last part of this video, I think I want to get at the root of why so many people are asking me now, should I join the military? Because when I joined the military back in uh, 2007, and I think any time uh, after or post 9-11, it was kind of a no-brainer, right? Because we felt as a nation that there was an external threat to the nation. Now, whether that's true or not, that's all politics, right? But we felt that there was an external threat and, and it was kind of a no brainer, but now we're questioning it. And the reason that all of you guys are, are questioning it, which you should be, uh, the root of this is because at this point in time, as a nation, our, our threat is within. We are rotting from the inside out, okay? 
So when we, as American citizens, we care about our nation, if you, if you didn't care about your nation, you wouldn't even consider joining the military. If you want to serve your nation right now at this point in time, I'm going to tell you right now, it is my opinion that joining the military is not the best place to do that. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that I would not recommend joining the military unless it is just something that you cannot live without. Unless you are a person who say, if I don't, who says, if I don't do this, I just can't, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. If you are that drawn to it, then go for it. But because our nation is rotting from within, the best way that you, young man, you, young woman, you, citizen, can serve your country right now is to serve from within. You have to dedicate yourself to being as fit as you can possibly be, as mentally and spiritually healthy as you possibly can be. you got to put the work in to do that. You need to find a skilled trade, a job, a business where you can become as wealthy as you can possibly be. All these things create your ability to be independent from a government who, wants, who now wants to essentially enslave you. You can become independent uh, and you become influential. You can influence your community. You can influence the people around you by leading by example, showing them what it looks like to be strong, fit, independent, wealthy. Um, that's going to influence people around you. You can make impact in your communities. Uh, you can, if, if you want to, you can take that out as far and as broad as you want to go with it. And I think that's what our country needs right now. Um, now, are there external threats to our country? Are there other nations that want to see America fall? Yes, of course there, there are. But those enemies of America are embedded with the politicians and the people and the rot that is rotting us out from, from the inside, right? It's all intertwined. And so it is my opinion, again, if you want to truly serve your country, you find a way to become as wealthy and influential as you possibly can. Influencing people and your community for the good, getting back to American values, do that and hold yourself to the highest possible standard and live that out loud in front of everybody so that they can see that. That, in my opinion, is the best way to serve our country right now because our threat is from within. If you just can't live without joining the military, go do it. We talked about the benefits. We talked about the negatives. You're going to get something out of it. Ultimately, though, if, it, if what you care about is serving your country, you can do more right here, right now. I think you can do infinitely more right here, right now, without joining the military than you, than you can do if you choose to go and be a part of that organization. Enough said.